meeting just made it. This meeting is being recorded. Continue. I, uh, okay, they're in here. Alrighty, so we just have to wait for John and everyone. I'm here. I think we're all here. Are you guys are oh, ready. Right? We're oh, ready. Okay, are. I didn't see you there. <laughs> okay, off you go. You've got 20 minutes and then 10 minutes for Q&A. Yeah, of course. Cool. All right, let's start. Sounds good. All right, well, hello, everyone. Thanks so much for taking time out of your days to join us today. We are the Clout Chasers, and we're just super happy that you joined our virtual presentation. So uh, we've been working with Philomena Farms for the past 15 weeks, and we want to show you a little bit about what we've been up to. So myself, I am Jeremy Walker, and I'm the account manager, and I'm going to let the rest of the team introduce themselves. I'm Kylie Miller. I'm the account planner. Hi, everybody. My name is Omar Shakri, and I am part of the creative team. My name is Armani Ward. I'm also a part of the creative team. Cool. So now you know our names and our roles. We made a brief little video here that we'd like to show you, just introducing our brand, the Clout Chasers. We are the Clout Chasers, a creative group founded in San Jose, California. This is what we live by, why we do this job, and what we can offer your entity. Cloud Chasers offers creative, formulation, and vital services. We combine our tech experience thinking, our design dominant hearing, and our useful mindsets to help brands gain views. We make eye-catching content. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Mr. Armani to talk about the executive summary. Thank you guys for coming again and for your time. Um, we're going to get into the executive summary. Um, so Philomena's mission is to allocate grants and fund projects for animal rescues, support organizations that lower euthanasia rates in animal shelters, and, fam and help families keep their pets during time of hardship that otherwise will force pets into shelters. Um, Philomena's vision is to create a world which no longer needs animal rescue organizations that it euthanizes. Um, Philomena's goals um, and objectives are to find the best homes for animals, help the public gain knowledge on being responsible pet parents, which involves spay and neuter, help stop animal suffering as well as animal cruelty. Um, Philomena is a nonprofit organization which allocates grants through funding, pro uh, project funding for animal rescues. They fundraise in order to, to uh, get grants to fund small, medium-sized rescues that are registered as a nonprofit. Um, Philomena Farms was founded in 2018 by Mrs. By Mrs. Sammy uh, Mansour. Um, they have a a whole governor board, which includes uh, Miss Sandra Zampino, um, Aubrey Bowen, as well as Megan Newell. No, Newell. <clears throat> Sorry about that, Newell. Um, I'm going to pass it on to Jeremy for the next slide. Um, cool. So as for our brief, our main challenge was to not take any money from other organizations that are trying to do the same thing. We want to generate more total revenue in the industry, not just transfer money from one organization to the other. We also want to maximize both donations and volunteers. In addition, we want to allocate grants and funds for animal rescue projects, um, support organizations that lower euthanization rates, and uh, just help animal shelters so people can keep their pets during times of hardship, especially right now with all the shelter in place going on, I'm, I'm sure people are more appreciative of their furry little friends right now. So next slide. For our target audience, we really just wanted to uh, narrow it down to animal lovers. Um, that might sound generic, but when you look at how large the pet industry is in America, it doesn't seem so crazy. So according to a study done by the Insurance Information Institute, 67% of American households own a pet. And among those pets were 99 million dogs and 94 million cats. So if you combine those two, that means that America's cat and dog population is larger than the total population of 44 countries. Statistia.com said that in 2019, the pet industry generated $75.3 billion of revenue, which means that the revenue in the pet industry in 2019 is greater than the national GDP of 121 countries. There are a lot of pet owners who spend tons of money on their animals every year, and we believe we can tap into that and uh, you know, reach our goals as far as donations and volunteers. So now to briefly talk about the client. Um, like I said in the previous um, slide, Philomena Farms was founded in May 2018 in San Jose. Uh, it was based, it's a base organization inspired by Sammy and her lovely dog, which name was Philomena. So I wanna get more into Philomena, Philomena. 
was acquired when she was a puppy from a young age and uh, showed a nurturing side toward other animals. Um, at a year, Sammy and Philomena, uh, Philomena, they rescued a chihuahua named Patricia, you know, um, from the streets and ultimately um, Philomena claimed her, claimed her as her, claimed him as her own pretty much. Just, um, so for over 14 years, Philomena and Sammy um, fostered dogs, sat and cared for lovely many, uh, and loved many cats and dogs. Um, she was, Philomena was really gentle with cats and she was adored um, as well as she also was there for the phosphorus pups, um, which uh, Kylie will be getting into a little later. Um, but because of Philomena, uh, Sammy became more involved with many different animal rescues and saw how hard uh, the volunteers worked to save money, I mean to save many animals. The dedication and the money they spent trying to save the lives made Sammy think of a different way to help. So um, that was pretty much how Philomena began. Um, Philomena doesn't have any stakeholders. Um, like I said, they're um, organ a nonprofit organization. Their market is the animal shelter industry. Um, they have a couple of competitors just because of the area that we're all in, um, which is the San Jose um, Animal Care Center, Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary, 13th Street Cat Rescue, and um, Humane Society Adoption Center. Um, Philomena does not see these groups as being com com uh, com competition at all. It's just due to them doing the same things, they are in the same area. Um, these are people that, you know, pretty much offer the same stuff that Philomena does. Um, being that they pretty much do the same thing, they're all there to make sure animals have a better life and a comfort home and out of the streets and not being put to sleep um, just because there's no space. Um, going on to the brand values, um, they value the pets, of course, and that's the primary concern and the purpose. Um, of course, the people, because without the people um, caring for the pets, um, there's no point in even having this, uh, this organization. Um, human and pet bonds, um, uh, they're here because they recognize that many benefits derive from the relationships with pets under their care. Um, knowledge and skills, um, ultimately the knowledge and skills that they develop um, will limit the ability to service the pet owners and pet successfully, efficiently, and with pride. So we have to gain that knowledge, give the pet owners as well as the community that knowledge. Um, the resources, um, as each project is determined, the necessary resources must be made available in order to for Philomena to perform their job effectively. Um, empowerment, uh, that's pretty much the goal. Um, with all those things I said at the top, um, gives you empowerment. Um, so supportive environment, uh, we should support each other's efforts when working toward the same common vision. Um, cooperation. Uh, we'll work together to create spirit of teamwork and cooperation and seek win-win situations, solutions, and conflicts. Um, commitment. Um, there's no empowerment. We will work to satisfy every power um, pet owner that um, we service, that we'll never say no. We're saying that. Um, respect. When it comes to respect, there's no hierarchy. So listening to what other people has to say, uh, demonstrating honesty, being on time, and using positive tone of voice. Um, is what they practice, um, honesty. Um, they will not promise people something that they know they would not do. I mean, they would not say things that are just out in the air and not true. Um, and lastly, um, I wanted to talk about the tolerance. Um, they will encourage diversity of thought and experience and will build the company on people's relevant strengths rather than focusing on irrelevant weaknesses. Um, so for the next slide, I'm gonna pass it on to Kylie. <laughs> Okay, so a little, about, a little bit about the findings and insights. So we were able to identify our key findings through our research from social media. So from consistently posting on both Instagram and Facebook, it allowed us to reach a wide variety of people, you know, track their engagement, see how many people were reaching their accounts, things like that. Um, and what we found was that insight one was giving back. So in general, nonprofit organizations are all about giving back to their communities. Um, but sometimes the target audience struggles with understanding that Philomena Farms raises money through donations to award these grants to other animal rescue charities and families in the San Jose area. Um, so the concept is to collect the money through different community events, you know, like DOGA, succulent making, things they've done in the past, um, not to take donations from other local shelters. So we'll create content to show and promote these past and present events um, to express their unique approach. Unfortunately, right now, since we are in quarantine, um, the best we can do is send them links and stuff that they can do to help out from home. 
And site two was strictly dogs. So like Armani mentioned, Philomena Farms was created in memory of the founders, Rottweiler Philomena. Um, so much of, what it, much of what is included in their advertising is dogs. Um, sometimes the audience fails to recognize that they do help a variety of different animals. Um, so while dogs might be the face of the company, other household pets have access to and can receive the same help, especially cats. Um, so we'll include pictures into our content um, of other pets besides dogs that have received help to exhibit the variety of animals that they do service. Um, our third insight was hospice care. Um, so hospice is the idea of fostering a sick animal back to health. Um, one of their main focuses on social media is introducing new pets. They have um, hospice on the farm um, to keep their followers up to date, you know, on their progress, um, medicine, um, surgery, you know, things like that so they can stay um, involved. Um, sometimes the target audience does lack awareness of partnerships that Philomena Farms works with to take in these sick and injured animals. So organizations like One Planet Rescue, you know, the source of where they get these sick animals from in order for them to, to phosphorus them, things like that. So we'll integrate website links and tags that explain who they work with, you know, how they get these animals and stuff like that. Next slide. So for the big idea, uh, basically what Kylie was talking about, we want to uh, narrow, well, we want to reach as many people as possible. We want to, we want to sell the story of Philomena Farms. And, and um, looking at the social media statistics and stuff like that, we want to narrow our target audience down so that way we can produce more focused content in order to maximize donations and volunteering. Okay. <clears throat> so... Philomena Farms lacks name recognition and has a minimal social media presence, so we sought out to like help change that. Uh, the inspiration for this uh, comes from social media influencers who are able to have a large number of followers thanks to their name recognition and credibility that they establish themselves through their popularity and like you know credibility that they that they have on social media. We want to apply that same magic uh, to Philomena Farms. Uh, our initial idea is to like approach that method were as follows: uh, there was like you know potential collaboration with IKEA or similar stores. Uh, in addition to that, there would have been like, you know, group hikes with pets or uh, as an alternative, there would have been like uh, pop up uh, adoption centers or pop up photo booths at select malls or centers or shopping centers. My apologies. And the winner for our creative strategy direction was the pet photo booth. Uh, after like speaking uh, to Filomeno Farms and sharing our ideas with them, they love the idea of a pet photo booth. So we decided to follow through with that. To give more context as to what our pet, our pet photo booths would have been, uh, they would have been, again, pop-up photo booths at select areas or shopping malls and centers where owners can go in, take a photo with their pets, followed by sharing the photo or photos on social media and caption it with their pet story or any emotional backstory pertaining as to how they got their pet. Our goal for this was to have more people engage with these activities to help create brand awareness for Filling the Farms. Uh, this is to serve as this was to serve as a stepping stone to help establish credibility and project uh, Philomena Farms as the pet rescue organization they wish to be recognized as. So, uh, as Kyla stated earlier, unfortunately, due to COVID nineteen happening, uh, our creative strategy had to take an alternative route. So, rather than a pop up photo booth, we re we uh, redirected our attention to strictly like focusing on social media. Uh, and this is like again to help like you know reach like potential target audiences through the use of like a, say at home activities like pet owners can do with their pets and then share it on social media followed by a hashtag Philomena Farms SJ. So to execute this creative strategy, we were allowed access to Philomena Farms uh, social media pages to gain brand awareness. This was achieved through the use of like you know visually like appealing and engaging graphics. In order to help like make sure that this strategy would continue like post spring of 2020, uh, we conducted a virtual workshop via Zoom to help teach our clients how to use these design resources available to them. So there's Adobe like Photoshop Lightroom, there's Adobe Spark Post, there's Adobe like Premiere Rush. Each are like uh, have both like desktop and mobile integrations that allow you to like create like you know engaging and viewable content in a matter of minutes from your computer or your phone. Uh, in addition to having a strong social media presence, this, this gives the client a direct connection with their target audiences, whether it be like, you know, engaging graphics or not. Uh, Philomena Farms can like, you know, engage with their audiences via live uh, Q&A, uh, question and answer via Facebook or Instagram or virtual like workshops or, you know, activities via Zoom or any other video conferencing apps. In the long run, uh, we hope to see more engaging activities like via social media to help capture a larger target audience and create brand recognition for Filament Farms. Uh, engaging in social media will serve as the stepping stone for our uh, creative like execution. 
And since most pet users are currently confined to staying inside with the occasional going out and practicing social distancing, of course, uh, more and more people are using social media now, uh, during these times. Uh, the goal for right now is to establish credibility and brand recognition online. Post-pandemic, uh, Philomena Farms can expand their activities and presence in their local communities, thus further assisting with establishing name credibility. Moving on. Okay, you guys, let's talk numbers. So since Philomena Farms is a nonprofit organization, our budget is kind of limited. Um, luckily, most corporations like Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, you know, stores like that will donate supplies to eligible 501c3 organizations, um, which is an awesome, low, no-cost way to gain materials. Um, the best way to promote business and increase donation is to advertise through events and obviously right now social media. Um, boosting social media posts on things like Instagram and Facebook, price will vary with engagement, um, but it allows us to reach um, more people. Once we see an increase in donation size and frequency of donations, we'll be able to compensate for additional growth. Um, so this will allow us to add more opportunities for our brand and provide more experiences for our donors and volunteers. You know, ideas like having small vendors, <clears throat> excuse me, at events. Um, maybe someone who's a small business that does like homemade dog treats, um, dog training, boarding, things like that. Um, another idea is middle school and high school volunteer opportunities. A lot of these um, students have community service requirements, so allowing them to come volunteer on the farm um, is a great way to fulfill those requirements. Um, flyers and posters at local shelters to promote events. Um, you can hang posters, you know, leave a stack of flyers of events that are going on where there's a lot of foot traffic, things like that, so people can grab them on their way out. Um, another idea we had was online merchandise. There is this website called teespring.com where a portion of the proceeds actually goes back to Philomena Farm. So they take what they think is reasonable and they give the rest back, which can be used for grants, supplies, whatever they want. Um, so with that being said, our intended starting budget is $1,000. Um, majority of this budget, like we said, will be used for event promotion and supplies. Um, with the help of our donors and revenue, we'll be able to award more grants, host a variety of community events, and expand our care for animals in our area. To the right, it's a little bit of a breakdown, you know, print, promotional material, total cost, things like that. And so for our summary, overall, by focusing on the concept of community involvement and growth, Philomena Farms will start to gain that brand recognition and awareness that it deserves. Um, the goal is to increase the amount and number of donations to eventually award more grants to these small to medium-sized animal rescue organizations. Um, so for right now, by kicking off social media challenges, getting creative with content, um, we believe it will help attract a variety of animal lovers and owners from all over the world. Um, integrating volunteer programs into the middle and high schools and promoting events through established animal shelters will not only allow you to be more integrated into the local community, but improve event participation and volunteers. And we believe the best way to co be cost efficient is to incorporate that 501c3 nonprofit title to help wait with supplies and materials, things like that for very little cost. So let's take advantage of all of our resources and let's get Filamento Farms on the map. Yes, everyone, and thanks so much for being here on behalf of my team, the Clout Chasers and Philomena Farms. We just want to say thank you for taking time out of your day and choosing to be here. Fortunately, this is not how we wanted to present, but, uh, but we're working with it. So thanks for being here. And we are also here to answer any questions if you guys have any. Okay, thank you, guys. You can stop your screen sharing now, and then we'll, um, we'll take some questions. Great presentation, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really like your um, insight and the strategy to just focus your target. Thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate you. that. Um, I, have, I have a question for the team. Um, could you guys elaborate on um, the partners that Philomena Farms uh, provides the donations to? Certainly. Like they're like you know they're talking to the shelter folks. They're like we don't want you guys to worry about raising funds, so we'll raise funds for you and then we'll give it to you. So do you have like an example of who they partner with, like what shelters or is it individuals? Like I don't, I wasn't really clear on their business model. Um, on their website, they have a list of people that they're um, partnered I with. Partners. I could tell you the partners. I'm sorry if we were their partners is the San Jose uh, Animal Advocates, uh, K9 Keep Fit. 
um, the Thought Farm, um, Christopher Elliman Patents, and as well as City National Bank. Those are the ones that they have listed as far as right now. And like for in regards to like the hospice care and things like that, it's more like animal hospitals. Like there's an organization that they work a lot with called One Planet Rescue. Um, so that's where they get most of their hospice animals from. That's great. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, we cannot hear you right now, Michael. I think you're muted. So Philomena Farms, I, I have to say I'm a little confused by the word farms because it's, it's not a farm, but, or is it a farm? I'm not sure. Um, is, it a, is it a pet rescue or is it more than a pet rescue? Because I, I wasn't quite clear about that listening to your presentation. So like uh, they are like, they try to be re uh, recognized as a pet rescue organization, but they go way beyond that. They try to allocate grants and funds to help like, you know, support other pet rescue organizations. Mm -hmm. So in a way they do like, they have a similar mission, but instead they want to be the help, be the ones to help fund, you know, animal shelters or other similar uh, res pet rescue organizations that go against euthanasia or, you know, like help like families keep their animals and whatnot, anything related to like, you know, pet related programs. Okay, well, then looking at your, your creative recommendations, um, I, I kind of got the feeling that they felt like a, a regular animal rescue approach rather than something beyond an animal rescue approach. Do you, do you think that's, that's fair criticism? Uh, we can understand how it may come off as that. And like, again, like that's, like, that's kind of like, you know, the credibility they have right now, but they're trying to go way beyond that. This is like, you know, like why we come in, like just kind of help, like, you know, change, like, like shift them into a new direction to help, like, uh, establish a better credibility and, like, go way beyond in, like, you know, how they come off as or how they may come off as. As well as they want to also, uh, you know, <clears throat> get people in the community involved as far as well, not having this animal being in caged for how much amount of hours, um, high stress levels. We want to be able to give that animal to somebody who wants to care for that animal as much as the animal want, needs to be cared for, who's willing to give that time to that animal as, as much as Sammy did with uh, uh, Petrosino, you know. Um, so she really wants to keep this same, <clears throat> this same kind of ideal format going. Um, let's keep the dog or animal comfortable in a comfortable sense. Sense it doesn't have to be, you know, you know, some animals really have like that attachment. Uh, the, 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 they can't be away from somebody for too long. You know, they'll go crazy. So we want to make sure that they have not that middleman that middle part, which is a more comforting situation other than just being caged up, not knowing what's going on next you can euthanasia or will somebody even take you home? You'll always be in the care of somebody who cares for it. Thank you. Interesting. <clears throat> Well, thank you guys. Okay. Great presentation and thanks for, for rising thank you. to the challenge. Um, we thank you. Move our thank time you, yeah. you guys stay in here. Do not leave the room until I let you out. Okay? Of course. Got it. We'll do. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, thank you, everybody. We appreciate you being here. Happy quarantine. Stay happy. Thank stay you. Uh, stay healthy. Stay thank positive. You. you guys have a good one. That's your cue, John. That's the cue, John. Always leaves <laughs> <laughs> everyone else in here. <clears throat> okay, so doing a good job. John just can't get enough of us. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> we can do like we can do comedy or something if you want. <laughs> like a Brady Bunch special right now, you know, everyone's in their own little box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is